Now to a story the Target 12 investigators broke on WPRI.com. The union representing Rhode Island State Troopers is fighting the Attorney General, Peter Kilmartin. It all centers around the Attorney General's decision not to represent a trooper who's being sued in a federal civil rights case. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with the details. A spokesperson for the Attorney General's office tells me they believe this is the first time they have declined to represent and indemnify a state trooper in a legal proceeding. Charging this defendant, James in 2014, Trooper James Donnelly Taylor pleaded no contest to a misdemeanor count of simple assault. He was accused of beating James Lionel James Monsanto in a jail cell at the Lincoln Barracks. Monsanto had been stopped for driving with an expired license. He shared these photos, including a shot of a bruised eye, when Eyewitness News caught up with him in 2014. He just kept punching, punching, punching. Monsanto has now sued Donnelly Taylor as well as the state and other officials in the wake of the assault. As the state's lawyer, the attorney general's office is representing each defendant except Donnelly Taylor. The Rhode Island Troopers Association, the union which represents rank and file members of the state police, tells Target 12 this has caused grave concern to all troopers and their families since it obviously opens all of us to serious personal liability while facing the ever increasing hazards required by our jobs. In a statement, Attorney General Peter Kilmartin says, committing the crime of assault upon a prisoner or anyone is outside of the course and scope of the duties of a state trooper, and the taxpayer should not have to defend or pay for the criminal actions of Donnelly Taylor. The Troopers Union has filed a grievance against the state. Now, the incident at the Lincoln Barracks was caught on tape, and that may come to light if the civil case goes to trial.